हेलो एवरीवन टुडे आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रेन टीजर क्वेश्चन फॉर द प्लेसमेंट एंड इंटरव्यू एग्जाम दिस इज द पार्ट नंबर थ्री पार्ट नंबर वन पार्ट नंबर टू वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन ओके लेट अस सी सो ब्रेन टीजर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन आंसर पार्ट नंबर थ्री व्हाट इज द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अ बस कैन होल्ड एक्स पीपल इट वॉज हाफ फुल फ्रॉम स्टार्ट and at the first stop why people got off how many people can now get on the bus so looking very typical question ki bus can hold x people okay this is a total capacity of bus is what x it was half full from start when the bus started it was half full and at the first stop why people got off then how many people can now get on the bus okay so for this type of question what is the important logic logic is that you have to read the question very carefully almost all answer of this type of question is in the question set so there is the x people but half people half full was started so in the initial time you can say there is a vacant seat is what x by 2 seat is vacant in the bus okay because it was half full from start so half full that means half is vacant so half seat was vacant now in the first stop why people got up so why people got up so why also decree now how many people now get so we get x by 2 is already vacant and now why people got up so why seat also vacant so we need total number of people how much x by 2 plus 1 right so this is the correct answer x by 2 plus 1 so this is right answer x by 2 plus y people can now get on the bus okay understood because there was a total capacity of bus how much x people okay but starting from starting half half you can say seats are full so half seat was vacant now in the first stop why people got so again why seat become vacant so x by 2 initially vacant and y again at first stop vacant so now x by 2 plus y people can get on the bus now see the second question of the series question so i told you earlier also in the part 2 and part 1 if for this type of the series question no any method no any formula no any technique only mind of purchase we have to use ki how the series is going on what is the relation in the previous one with the help of this we can find missing number so see here this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 6 this is 9 and this is 18 now we have to find so you see what is the relation going on here so this is 1 so 1 into 2 okay so this is 1 2 3 6 9 18 so if we go for closely you will watch you are feeling that what this is one so this is the one so this is one so if we multiply one into two we will get how much two but now three so if we multiply two into three by two we will get how much 2 and 2 cancel we will get 3 so this is 3 okay now again you see 3 into 2 what is this 6 again you see there is a next number 6 so if we multiply this number 3 by 2 we will get 2 3 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 it is okay 9 again there is a 9 so we will multiply this to we get how much 18 so this is also 18 now according to rule first multiply 2 then multiply 3 by 2 then again multiply 2 again 3 by 2 again 2 now next will be multiplied by 3 by 2 so this is 18 multiply what 3 by 2 so 2 9 ja 18 we will get 27 so our correct answer will be what 27 so this is the right answer so for this type of question only you have to watch what is the relation between the given number you will find the missing number okay now see the next one this is the question this is the question 828116584 so again you are watching that this number is increasing 
एंड वेरी लार्ज इंक्रीज जस्ट लाइक एट ट्वेंटी एट वन हंड्रेड सिक्सटी फाइव सो वेन देर इज ए लार्ज इंक्रीजिंग देन देर इज ए मल्टीप्लाई देर इज ए सम लार्ज एडिशन so this is 828 165 it was so we have to take what is the logic going so again we check here so just to see this is the 8 so this is 8 multiply 3 plus 4 so how much we get 8 3 are 24 plus 4 is 28 so it is okay 28 now you see this is 28 multiply 4 plus 4 then what we will get 4 8 are 32 Four two is eight three eleven plus four. So we are getting one hundred sixteen. It is okay one hundred sixteen. Again we are checking one hundred sixteen multiply five plus four. So five six is thirty. Five one is five three eight and this is five. Again plus four. So we will get how much five hundred eighty four. So it is right. So what we found? What is the relation? That means first number multiply three plus four. Second number again multiply those. That means increasing three, four, five. And addition is constant. That is four. So in the next number we have five, eight, four. So we go for the same logic. So this is five, eight, four multiply six plus four. It is my answer. So six, four, the twenty, four carry two. Six, eight, the forty, eight and two fifty carry five. Six five is thirty. This is thirty five plus four. So how much we will get? This is three five zero eight. So this is the right answer three five zero eight. And this is what that is the C option. So this is the correct answer. Okay. In the same way, you see the next question. That is question four. This is also the missing question series question. One three six ten. Fifteen twenty one. Now you see what is the logic. What how the series is going on. So for this type of question, we are seeing that that is one three. So what is the difference? That is two. Again you see six three. What is difference? Three. Again ten six ten. That is difference is four. Again this is fifteen minus ten. That is five. Again you see eleven minus six. So here continuous two three four five six. So another number will come. Whose difference will be what? That is seven. So twenty one plus seven what? Twenty eight. So this is a correct answer is twenty eight. So again the same logic you will feel that you have to check what may be, what relation may be. Sometimes gapping, sometimes multiplying, sometimes different. So every time there will be a different, not the same logic every time. Now you see the next question. This is how much? Five, eleven, eighteen, twenty six, thirty five. Again, we are seeing that if we go for the different, so here what is the difference? Eleven minus five six. Here what is the difference? Eight minus one seven. Here what is the difference? Sixteen minus eight. Here what is the difference? Fifteen minus six nine. So again, we found that there is a six, seven, eight, nine. So now the difference will be how much? That is ten. So thirty five plus ten is what forty five. So our correct answer is forty five. So now I think you have understood all these fifteen questions. That is the five questions in the part number three, five questions part number one, and five questions part number two. All these questions are very very important for the placement and interview exams. Again, we will come in the part number four with a different. you can say the bread teacher questions and series question thank you